By the way, uh, I know you weren't planning on talking about it in this dirty, but you've been talking about it this morning. For those that uh, missed it, Caitlyn Jenner also has come out and uh, spoke out against uh, Donald Trump. Finally, I have a message for President Trump from, well, one Republican to another. This is a disaster, and you can still fix it. You made a promise to protect the LGBTQ community. Call me. Mm. By the the way, this is exclusive. I I hope that uh, CNN uh, and Fox News are listening to Mojo in the Morning this morning. (laughs) Unbelievable. But I guess they did call each other, and while they called each other, they decided that they would three-way call with Mojo in the Morning on the phone with us this morning, Caitlyn Jenner. And President Donald Trump. Wow, is that right? Both of you on their phone? Good morning, Mojo. How are you? Mr. President, hello? I feel like I got bamboozled by Captain Comb over here. Oh, boy. Okay. (laughs) Well, slow down, Caitlin. And, you know, you might want to take it easy on Twitter, okay? (laughs) You're the one who should talk. Boy, you're like a Halo Clementine that went bad. You need some of my MAC cosmetics, girl. <laughs> so not fierce. Wow. So, Mr. President, so you heard, uh, you know, this uh, Criticism Twitter from- this this Twitter feed, this live, uh, you know, this uh, video. There's and, lots of feeds going. I and, hear them. And you decided to call Caitlin. I'm glad that you actually called Caitlin. Look, I just wanted to tell you, Kate. What? What? Tell me what? I just wanted to say that I'm not against transgenders using the bathroom of their choice, okay? I'm not against it. I just think the decision must be made at the state level. Cop out! Whoa, okay. (laughs) You see, Mojo, they're twisting my words around like the fake news media, okay? Now, I'm sorry, but this hurt. I'm a huge supporter of civil rights. Huge. Oh, yeah, as if. Look, I'm a sensitive guy when it comes to civil rights, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go deport 11 million Mexicans. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. Look, look, I can't believe so many people, Mojo, yes. are claiming they're uncomfortable sharing a restroom with transgender folks. Right. I'm, I'm a little confused here. Is this because people prefer dropping the kids off at the pool with the stall door wide open? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Um, Look, Ka- I've got Kaylin. to talk to my deputy CIA director. Ka- He's can- the bus boy at Mar-a-Lago. We're going to poison Kim Jong Un with a punch. Oh, oh, my- oh my god! Ka- can we can we ask some questions? Is that okay if we ask some questions? Yeah, so, you two, can you guys settle down for just oh, one second? Well, hey, I guess I can hang on. Caitlin, uh, I know you are uh, you are uh, now probably rethinking, aren't you? Your vote. You're probably thinking that you probably should have uh, voted for maybe Hillary Clinton. Is that I what you think? I am. You know, I'm thinking. Wow, I've made a huge mistake. Hey, he promised promised me something, and now he's not delivering on it. Well, uh, Mr. President, what do you have to say to that? That's, uh, you know, those are big words from one of the few celebrity supporters that you had. You know what? This is going to take time, okay, Caitlin? We have to relax. This isn't, you know, listen, my administration is a well-oiled grease fire, okay? We're going to take time with this. We're going to make it work. You don't have to worry about it. I'm going to make good on my promise to the Muslim community, okay? I want to make sure that your, your listeners know, Mojo. Okay. We're coming up with a compromise on the Muslim ban. What, okay? what is that? And we can make a compromise with the transgenders. But first, I want to say, I will allow one Muslim into the country with each new purchase of an Ivanka handbag. Oh, <laughs> my Take that, goodness. Take that. Okay. Okay, I like the sound of that. Well, uh, I buy one. Yeah, okay, I will allow it. Oh, Caitlin's into that. All right. I, I have to just ask a, a, a quick question. Eric, you, are, did you just you like are you doing this call while you just did the drop off of your uh, daughter at school? I just dropped off my baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in the parking lot right now of of her school. And the other parents are looking at me very strange. <laughs> <laughs> the window rolled down. It's a little. It's a milder today. There's a yeah. schizophrenic man in the parking lot. <laughs> He's, totally. He's doing two different voices. <laughs> the safety patrol kids like what? <laughs> <laughs> so. So as you're sitting in the car and people are walking by, walking by you, which uh, one of the characters, either Donald Trump or Caitlyn Jenner, makes the weirder faces? I, I think it's going to be Caitlyn. Yeah, Caitlyn yeah. Jenner. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you should uh, see my dashboard. It's got chicken scratch notes all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's excellent. So good. My, your Caitlyn Jenner, by the way, is it's phenomenal. stellar. Oh, you my God. To, you know, everything, you don't even move your lips. You yeah. just kind of let the words come out of your mouth. 
<laughs> Spike was mentioning this morning during one of the dirties that it sounds like Caitlin has dentures, and the dentures sound like they're loose. Like, yeah, yeah. It sounds like he's trying to keep. Or she's trying to keep everything together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, God, the Kardashians make so much money. Why can't they buy Dad a new set? Yeah, that's some new teeth. In that's there. amazing. All right. Well, listen, uh, Mr. President, we haven't had you on in a while. I think it's been since yes. just after the election that we've had you. They've been keeping him from Everybody the press. Everybody needed to recover for a while. I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well. All right. And, and Caitlin, it was nice to talk to you. If you want to go into your daughter's school and actually investigate, <laughs> uh, you know, perverted men wearing wigs walking into the little girls' rooms, <laughs> no, don't do that. I'm, I am so. There. And I'm not no, talking no, about no, President no, Trump no, at the no, Miss no, USA no, pageant. Going in for reading month, bitches. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine Caitlyn Jenner doing March's reading month? Oh my God, that With, would be so funny. Again, we got to get those dentures I'm going to read Everybody Poops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Okay. We appreciate Bye. it. Love it. Eric. Hey, by the way, Eric. Yo. Great to uh, great to talk to you. Congratulations to you. I mean, we, we we just actually threw up that we it's the anniversary on uh, February 21st of the Mojo on the Morning Show that we've been on the air for a while here. Eric was a and, founding and, member. Eric was one of the founding members, and we're so happy that uh, you know he left the show initially because... He got paid a lot more money from somebody else, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> but now he's back on the show, and now he's working for you know big time company, Premier uh, Radio. It's, it's really uh, it's all, it all worked out in the end. Exactly, right? you guys. It's it's uh, amazing. I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, I love you, buddy. Okay, love you too. See you. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is President Trump. I'm going to sign an executive order to force everybody, everybody, even whiny losers, to listen to Mojo in the morning. I think that was pointed at me. <laughs> you think, are you the whiny loser? <laughs> Taking offense to that. Okay. I want Caitlyn Jenner to line her. Like, I want Caitlyn Jenner to go, this is Caitlyn so Jenner. <laughs> I'm Caitlyn Jenner. And you're listening to my girl Mojo. <laughs>